and today I'll be reviewing the Eakin H9 Wi-Fi Action Camera. I've taken the contents, so I'm going to show you real quick on the back. There's some specifications uh, that you can look. Um, I've taken the camera out. It's amazing how they get everything in this little box. It's a 4K camera at 25 frames per second, although I do not have a card that's fast enough to record 4K. The card I have in there is uh, it's good for 1080p, 30 frames per second. So let me show you what you get. Obviously, I got a, a gallon Ziploc freezer bag. Um, I think it's a lot easier to keep all the stuff. So maybe if they would have given you a bag or something instead of a, you know, it's in this box and it's all down here, but it's loose. So um, again, you just get a Ziploc bag. It's pretty cheap. Keep all the stuff together. Let me show you what you get here. Obviously, first you get the camera. It's about the size of a GoPro. It comes in waterproof housing. I really like the lock on this. You have to lift up and out. So I haven't taken this underwater. But I mean, you could you could hear that gasket. It's solid. This isn't going to get wet. The only way it could get wet is water coming through these little buttons where you push it on. Um, I haven't seen any other users complain about it. Um, basically getting wet or water coming in. So... I'm sorry I didn't get to test that for everybody, but first guess, it, it did have uh, everything. I also want to mention that there is a film on this screen right here. There's no tab, so you have to really edge your fingernail underneath here to get this film out because you're going to want this film removed off here so it's nice and crystal clear. Uh, it's not going to affect your image quality. Let me get onto the camera real quick. I mean, it's tiny. It's a little, I mean, it's about the GoPro size. Um, and it's, it's got a 180, 170 degree field of view, super wide angle. Uh, it's pretty simple, you just turn it on and it comes on, it's a little red light on top and you can see the image on the back and you just, you got hit right here for your, it says your mode and then it goes, oh, there's different modes. Let me get, hold on. You got a 12 megapixel wide. Um, there's a couple other modes. And then there's your settings. So let's go into the settings. And then there's some buttons here on the side that just lets you go through the settings. Um, again, I wish this was kind of a touch screen. It's not a touch screen. Um, and so that makes fumbling through some of the, the um, menu items a little bit difficult. But let me get out of that and turn it off. Down here in the bottom, you pop the battery in. Comes with two batteries, which are... You can just see that kind of sits there. It's got a nice little tab, so it's really easy to pull in and pull out. It comes with two batteries, and it comes with a charger. The battery is right here. This is a PG 1050 milliamp hour. It's like a little lithium battery. Pops out. So there's the second battery. The, the other one's in the camera. It's a 3.7 volt, 1050 milliamp hour. 3.885 watt hour rechargeable lithium ion battery pack. So the fact that they give you two of these is really nice because then you're not stuck on the go. You get a little uh, micro USB charger, very simple. Um, let's go into some of the accessories. Uh, I'm, I gotta go quick because I don't have a lot of time here. Uh, you get a little very basic, um, very basic uh, il color illustrated manual. I mean, it is that simple to operate. Um, and you can see all the accessories right there that come with it. I'll show them to you again right here. Uh, you get tons of stuff. So it's, it's really, I, I really like this camera. I think it's a great value. And the fact that it comes with all these accessories, uh, in addition to the camera is, is really neat. Now I haven't even found a way to use all these. Here's a handlebar mount. Uh, there's a lens cleaning cloth. There's some, uh, these are some Velcro straps. It's got a selfie stick, which telescopes and then locks. Um, so you can use that to take some stuff. I mean, all this stuff comes with it. You got your little USB charger here, and it's got a bunch of other clips and mounts and you know things to mount this way and this way. It's got some tethers on it. Uh, I think the the website uh, does a good job uh, describing all the items that come with it. If, I'm not going to go into detail on all that stuff uh, right now. I'm just going to actually push it all kind of aside, get it out of here. Let's go back to the main point: the camera. Um, I was also able, one of the things that's neat about this camera is I was able to get the Wi-Fi feature working. Uh, again, the instruction manual just tells you what app to download. You, it tells you push this down button, it turns on Wi-Fi, then you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi, 
and then you open the app and basically you get the screen from here on your iPhone and it lets you to record video on your iPhone uh, or your smartphone. It also lets you uh, edit stuff, um, maybe not edit, but, but just take videos and stuff. So I, I really think that's a great feature about this camera is that the that you can do Wi-Fi with it. So if you want to see the images that you're recording remotely, um, you can go ahead and set that up and do that as long as you're in close proximity. Um, so I think that's a really neat uh, feature about this. Uh, again, the price point right now is to sell for uh, about 70 bucks on Amazon USA. That is incredible. Considering all the accessories you get with it, the fact that you get a second battery, I think this is an incredible value. Now, let me go into the camera. This is not the, I mean, it's a sharp camera. Don't get me wrong. It, it's a quality camera. It is not the highest quality camera. And, and, and it is not, I mean, you're not going to get a $400 GoPro image quality in a $70 camera. You're just not going to get it. Put this up on a, uh, a large uh, quadcopter that I have. I uh, shot some video there. I also uh, put it on a helmet because it came with the helmet mount. And I, I was able to shoot some um, video of me fooling around with my RC truck. One other thing I should mention, it does not come with a memory card. The memory card pops right in the side there. You can see the connections it's got. It's got a HDMI micro and then a micro SD. Really happy with this camera. Uh, I think the, the, the fact that the value of the camera with all the accessories, with the two batteries, and for the price point, I think the image quality, I think most people are gonna be happy with the image quality. I do wish it had a touch screen on the back. Thanks again for watching. Uh, see you next time.